Rajanishan Sarvin Tyagarajan for your new innovation of uh, Indian product HD Phono Dog. Can you briefly describe about the product and its features? Sure. HD Phono Dog is the first of its kind audio visual cardiac screening device. It actually records the heart sounds from a patient's body and converts into visual signals and uh, the visual signals can be seen on the screen and once you press a button you actually analyzes the sound for 10 seconds and gives you an interpretation whether the patient has got a, a cardiac murmur or not and if he has got a cardiac murmur that could be usually because of a blockage in the valve or a leakage from the valve or a hole in the heart whereas if the murmur indicated directs there is no murmur then the patient is free from any of these murmurs and he doesn't have to go through any follow-up studies but if he has got some murmurs then it's better for him to go through ultrasound echocardiogram or any other follow-up studies for better care and so on so this whole operation can be completed within a few seconds actually the analysis takes 10 seconds then once the recording is done this device can be connected to a printer and actually the printer can be taken and the doctor can write his notes also let me actually show you a demonstration of this product as I said earlier it is very simple to use it has got two waveforms one is the heart sound waveform and then the other one is the murmur waveform and it can be switched between bell and diaphragm modes by pressing this button here and then you also have the analysis button okay which when pressed it will acquire the sound for 10 seconds and analyze the sound so let me try to use this device on myself and then show you how it works and while I'm doing the recording I'm not going to speak I'm going to remain silent As you can see on the screen here, it shows there is no murmur, so there is no problem in this case, and you can scroll, scroll back and forth to look at the different sounds, and you can see only the hard sounds, the lub dub sounds, and there is actually no murmur on the top. And then, if you want, you can actually connect this to a printer, which I'll be showing you here. shows there is no murmur present and then the doctor can write his diagnosis and refer the patient if required for further studies or not if there is a murmur. So this whole process makes it very very simple and easy to use and very effective especially in rural care centers where the patients can be quickly screened and the interpretation can be obtained and they can be referred for further follow-up studies and we had a, a camp at uh, Tanjavur district in South India where actually out of 60 patients who came for cardiac screening, 10 patients' heart sounds were actually indicative of murmurs. So we actually referred those patients to Chetinad Hospital in Chennai, and all 10 cases were confirmed with the ultrasound echo diagnosis that they indeed have murmurs. And within a month, they were actually provided follow-up care, and all the cardiac surgeries were completed. So these 10 patients were actually really saved because of the early intervention and early detection of these murmurs. So we believe this device is going to be very much useful for these rural healthcare screening centers. A lot of doctors can use this, even in big hospitals in their OPD departments where hundreds of patients come, they can actually use this. And also we're developing a product for medical colleges to actually teach the students better auscultation skills because now they not only can hear the sound better, but they can also see the sound. So that is going to greatly enhance the way the students learn. And for students specifically, we're going to come up with a version which is actually going to be a much low-cost version, and they can actually use this product to actually learn skills better. So this whole unit, uh, currently with the murmur detector and the printer integrated, we are planning to push in it around 35,000 rupees in India, and uh, we have already obtained uh, the approvals required, 
and this has actually gone through a clinical validation at Jipmer Institute in Pondicherry where Dr. Balachandra, the head of the Department of Cardiology, has done a validation with ultrasound echo as the gold standard and he has shown that this device has got a sensitivity of 93% and specificity of 95% compared to ultrasound echocardiogram. We have also done a validation at CGHS, the Central Government Health Services uh, Centers in Chennai and uh, Dr. Madhyalogan, the additional director of CGHS, has given a certificate that the audio using this device is much better than even imported stethoscopes and so on. So we believe this product is going to greatly benefit the doctors as well as the patients, not only in India, but worldwide. Uh, worldwide, any uh, accreditations you have got it? We have got actually FDA approval in the U.S. market and also CE certification in the European markets. And uh, we will also be targeting for other approvals in Japan and other countries next year. So, And also we have got worldwide patents for this product. We actually have close to 10 patents, out of which the foundation patent, which has got very broad claims on diagnosis, was filed in 2002, and that has been granted in the United States as well as a lot of other countries in the world. Who are your other consultants? Do you have anybody experts in your board? Yes, we have actually one Dr. Tag Jin Tio. He's a leading ultrasound expert, scientist in the whole world, and uh, he has been involved right from day one in the company. And uh, he actually also sits on our executive board, board of directors, and he's also the chairman of our scientific advisory board. And he believes that this product is actually much more user-friendly and effective at the point of care than even an ultrasound echo. Uh, sir, you are one of the world-renowned ultrasound experts. What do you think about this product? Well, I've been working in ultrasound for many years. I think some people have the idea that uh, as the ultrasound equipment gets smaller and cheaper, there may be no a future for a product like Phonodal. Uh, I disagree with that. I think the issue with the uh, echo is not so much the equipment, although that's certainly a factor because it can be quite expensive, but it's more the interpretation of the image that's on the echo machine. That takes a long uh, learning curve to acquire the skills to interpret the image. And this at point of care, this phono dog provides an ease of interpretation. So I think this has a bright future, despite the fact of all these advances in the echo machine.